Do you work two hard jobs? Do you only get an hour of spare time each day, like for your lunch break? Do you happen to play your Nintendo Switch on that lunch break? Well, according to uh, this Redditor over here, you're a loser. Because only children play the Nintendo Switch because he said so. Now, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. You're a loser! Grown men who play Nintendo Switch in public are losers, and it's super hard to have any respect for them. This is probably the saddest post I've ever seen in my life, dude. Imagine being like a grown man, getting upset at what another grown man does on a train. Now, how is this any different from playing a mobile game? How is it any different than watching a video? But, oh, video game's bad. Because... A red dude, this guy's literally a redditor. Like, imagine calling other people losers when you're literally sitting on Reddit, malding, coping, and seething. Cope, seethe, mold. You also, as if anybody cares if the grown ass man on Reddit respects them, dude. Like, oh no, the redditor doesn't respect me, bro. I'm not gonna be able to sleep at night. What am I gonna do? I feel like since this is Reddit, a lot of people are gonna hate me for this, but come on. First of all, and I know people will deny this, the Switch's games are made for kids. Well, the games are rated E for everyone, not C for children. Then he says Mario and Zelda are uh, kids games, but last time I checked it said E for everyone, not C for children. They're not games for adults to sit around and play in public. Says who, dude? Like, where's your source to back this up? Oh wait. It's my source is that I made it the f up. I have to ask, why is that watching My Little Pony as a grown man is shamed by the Reddit community, but playing video games that are clearly made for kids is considered perfectly acceptable? Well, I think we found the root problem here. He was watching My Little Pony on the train, and uh, a Nintendo player with a Joy-Con sticking out of his pocket probably gave him a weird look getting off the train. And now he's upset, so he pulled out his phone, went to Reddit, and typed up this temper tantrum. Sure. One is made for young girls, and one is made for young boys and girls. But would it be socially acceptable to sit on the train and watch Power Rangers? Oh, it's one of these people, dude. The people that sit around, is, is what this guy doing best socially acceptable? My neckbeard, bro. Like, people who do this shit are the corniest people on the planet. Like, sitting around analyzing everything someone does in public, going, oh my god, that's not socially acceptable, this guy's weird, so what I'm gonna do? You know, I'm not weird, so I'm gonna go to Reddit and I'm gonna write a, uh, man-child, uh, temper tantrum. Like, dude, nobody gives a shit. Also, you wanna talk about being socially acceptable, how do you think those people would react if they seen you writing this temper tantrum on reddit.com? I think it's fine to play Switch as long as you keep it to yourself and your friends slash family. Well, we really don't care what you think, to be honest. But playing with what is essentially a kid's toy on a train while everyone watches is so lame. And it isn't lame to have a man-child temper tantrum on the train? You know, what if somebody seen you writing that shit, dude? So many people are gonna be seeing this behavior as childish and weird, and they're not gonna see you having a meltdown as childish and weird? Once again, I hate to keep bringing it up, but it's a valid point. But they just keep playing Nintendo Switch, and you just keep crying on Reddit. Some people will say, no, video games are huge, tons of people play games, which is true. Okay, so, is huge, does that make it acceptable to watch in public? I occasionally play Skyrim on my Xbox at home, we don't care. But if I saw some dude playing Skyrim in public, I would consider that weird. You are actively going out of your way to do something that is considered socially unacceptable and weird. You don't care, that indicates you're a weirdo. <laughs> Serious? Yet again, a grown man sitting around seething, coping, and molding because, oh my god, dude, this guy's not being socially acceptable, bro. Like, anyone who posts shit like this, I'm gonna need you to just, like, shave your neck beard and take a shower. Like, we can smell you through the monitor. Finally, I want to say I go to school in the urban environment, so I will occasionally see this shit. It is always the same type of person with a patchy beard balding, glasses, sort of chubby, and usually with some type of trench coat on. The projection? No, you are the embodiment of a typical Redditor, sitting here crying, coping, molding, seething, whinging, because people are having fun.
Like, what kind of joy do you get out of life when you sit here and actively get mad at people for having fun? How dare you have fun? And it shows that you do actually lack social awareness. Once again, oh my god, dude, this guy isn't socially acceptable, bro. Commutes by train are like 5 to 10 minutes. Do you need to play Mario in that tiny amount of time? Personally, no, but like, so what if someone does? Once again, that might be a father of like two children that works two jobs to support his family and only gets, you know, maybe an hour of free time each day and, you know, he's taking advantage of any bit of free time he can get. And then you got some smelly Redditor on the train making a post about how the guy's a loser. Like, dude, get a grip. And reminder. And reminder that typing some huge essay about I don't care what people on the bus think of my video games. By the way, he misspelled a three-letter word. Shows the intelligence. Shows that actually you do care. Leave the switch at home, people. That's ironic because you are literally typing an essay about how somebody's having fun. With that being said, do what you want, dude. Like, if you want to play your Switch in public, if you want to play your Steam Deck in public, go ahead, dude. Like, the only people that are gonna judge you are people like this who probably smell like sh**. Alright, with that all being said, make sure to join the Discord and uh, follow my Twitter. The links are down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess.